So this is the Library of Hadrian. Um, it was built by Emperor Hadrian in uh, 132 AD. Uh, Hadrian was famously very philhellenistic and promoted a lot of uh, art and culture across the Roman Empire with a basis in the Greek tradition of like art and culture. Um, and so this was part of his efforts to expand Greek culture <coughs> to the Roman people. Um, it's built in the Roman form style, so it had one entrance, which was a Corinthian style uh, <laughs> propylon, as opposed to the propyleon yesterday, which was two gates. This is a propylon, which is just one gate, but the style is very similar. Um, it had a bunch of the niches um, next to the columns or on the other side, which you can see on that side of the building, where there would be maybe things on display. And then in the middle, there was an inner courtyard surrounded by columns with a oval-shaped um, like decorative reflecting pool. Um, so the eastern side of the building was a library with shelves filled with papyrus uh, books and scrolls, um, like a modern library. And then around it were reading rooms where people could sit and read the scrolls without taking them out of the building. And then the corner rooms, which are slightly larger, were used as lecture halls. So people could teach or philosophers could talk to people and discuss various things um, and sort of spread ideas and discuss knowledge. It was damaged severely in uh, 267 AD uh, in the Herulian invasion, like a lot of the buildings we've seen were, and then was repaired um, around 410 AD uh, fairly extensively, like 407 to 412. Um, during the Byzantine times, there were three to four churches built on this site. Um, there was a tetraconch, which is like a Greek cross-shaped building, an old-style church in the 5th century. Um, a Small basilica was built on the site in the seventh century. It had three aisles and was um, an early form small basilica. And then a basic cathedral was built um, in the twelfth century. It was known as the Megali Pagia, and it was the first actual cathedral in the city. There's um, remains of another church on the north side of the structure, but um, there's not enough of it preserved to really identify exactly what it was. And that's uh, basically all I got.